An issue under the CGL policy will be the number of occurrences involving a, a pandemic issue. And really, uh, there are no cases with respect to pandemic coverage, but the courts are all over the place. For example, take the, uh, uh, the case in Michigan involving a breast implant. The court looked at uh, the bre breast implant issue and they said that each implant was a separate occurrence, thereby providing um, the insured with coverage for multiple occurrence, occurrences, allowing them to uh, trigger their, their aggregate. Other courts have taken a completely different view in, in saying that the decision to manufacture a product like an implant, decision to manufacture asbestos-containing product, products is a single occurrence. And a session under a reinsurance uh, treaty involves a loss occurrence. And a loss occurrence under most reinsurance treaties does not necessarily involve a single event. It can be an accident or a, or a series of accidents or events arising from the same causative agency. So. You've got to look at the underlying facts. If there was one causative agency, you may have one loss occurrence, even if that causative agency caused multiple injuries. So the definition of loss occurrence under a treaty is different than the definition of occurrence under a CGL policy or even a homeowner's policy. It has the potential to accumulate all injuries from one causative agency as one loss occurrence, thereby allowing cedents to apply one retention when they cede the loss to reinsurers.